What is going on, guys? Um, so, uh, another day. Another dollar was made. I got to work this morning. Um, just got back from Pittsburgh. Uh, took a load of Buffalo Trace, a bunch of liquor up to Pittsburgh, and hurry up, got back down here. I uh, got a little bit of exciting news. So, I uh, want to share it with you guys. Um, the gentleman that I got this block from, um, this baby. So, as you can see, piston walls, just some are good, some are bad. Um, so I contacted him because I was I was just upset about the engine, and he got back with me. And the past couple of days, uh, we've been talking back and forth, and the guy is actually getting me pistons uh, for this block. Um, I am taking it down to the machine shop today. That's what uh, we're doing today. I'm taking this block down to the machine shop. I'm getting it bored. 118 thousandths over. 118 thousandths over. Not 30 over. Not 40 over. 118 thousandths over. Thousands. Uh, so um, I called a machine shop here in Lexington and the guys laughed at me. I uh, didn't know what I was talking about telling me that there was no way there was going to be enough meat on it. Um, but I, I talked with my wife's uncle in West Virginia. Um, he's three hours away. He has a lot going on, so I don't want to take necessarily a block that's got nothing done to it and have him do most of the work. Um, so I just I would rather get it mostly done here and then take it to him when we plan on uh, uh, weighing the engine, weighing everything out for the crank. I've been thinking about making a stroker, put a four-inch crank in it, uh, using the six-inch rods with the LS6 pistons. Um, but yeah, guys, so um, trying to hurry up. I've got three and a half hours to make it down to Junction City, which is an hour away, so not too bad. But we're going to get this engine block loaded up in the Tahoe and get it ready and ready to rock. Come on, Bruno, help me. Who said you need a truck and you got all oh, this to fit that? You could drink a coffee or you could drink a drop sitting in the day out of coffee and said, Dad, what are you doing? We lighten up a little bit. Governor Bashir continuing to urge Kentuckians to practice social distancing as the state tries to prevent the spread of Hill of Beans Hob barbecue, fried green tomatoes, potato wedges, and pulled pork. I'm a sucker for barbecue. Love barbecue. Mm. All right, guys. Um, sorry I didn't get to film. You know how it is. First time there. Don't want to seem weird because all those guys are much older guys. Um, you know, this type of thing isn't, they're not about it. <laughs> but uh, dropped the engine block off. He is boring it for me to a 5.7. Uh, and we are having, um, um, I may get it decked. May, I don't know. I still got to check that out. And Joe, the guy that I got the engine off of, uh, he is going to be dropping the uh, money off to uh, James here at uh, Double J Cylinder Heads and uh, getting those pistons ordered for me. So, really appreciate that, man, if you're watching this video. Not a whole lot of people would do that. You guys know that is watching. Everybody's always scared to do dealings with people over Facebook or over Marketplace, Craigslist, whatever it may be. Um, but this guy really came through. Uh, and really stood behind his word. So I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Um, but yeah, guys, so uh, we're headed on our way back from uh, Danville right now from Junction C City. Junction City. Uh, and we are on our way to Georgetown, northbound. Pistons ordered. Um, the machine 
shop is going to be receiving them, uh, getting uh, the engine board out for uh, the swap that we're doing. Um, super excited about it. Right now, we're about to head to AutoZone, grab some metal polish, some degreaser. I'm going to try and uh, clean up the crank, get the crank ready. Um, the bearings looked phenomenal, so uh, I'm going to re I'm going to get new bearings, but uh, there's no sense, I don't think, of really getting anything turned. Um, so the crank portion is great. Uh, next thing I, I, I really need, as um, soon as I get the block back, is rods. Uh, we're going with the floating pin, so I want to the, get the rods, kind of want to have the engine block and stuff back. Um, just kind of um, just kind of iffy on that. So uh, let's go to Advance, or no, AutoZone. Let's go to AutoZone. We made it. Uh, got the big boy. Had to get the big boy. Fifteen dollars, I believe, is what it was, and that's not bad for that. That is two and a half gallons. So that would have been for a regular gallon, been seven dollars, seven dollars, and then three fifty. So there you go. Uh, almost twenty bucks for fifteen dollars of yeah. You get what I'm saying. It was a damn good deal. Um, but got a found a. I was trying to get a. Uh, a, a pan to put the heads in so I can just, you know, let the greaser sit in there with them. And um, I've come across this deal at AutoZone, or yeah, AutoZone. I keep wanting to say Vance, AutoZone. Um, and uh, they have a big pan and got gloves. You got a oil funnel. I have like four oil funnels. Uh, you get orange uh, hands, hand cleaner um, and then something else, I believe, for $10. And the pan itself that I was going to buy was $10, so why not? So got that and got the valve spring compressor. Valve spring compressor is 20 bucks. Wasn't bad. Um, I was just going to get a piece of steel, drill a hole, and do all that shenanigans, but 20 bucks for them. Valve spring compressor. It's, it's manual, but you can put your drill or your ratchet at the end of it, and it'll be perfectly fine. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys, got this. Uh, so I've got this head sitting. Um, and purple power um, I've been taking a um, brass brush and been cleaning uh, the chambers uh, there you can see my uh, valves a uh, little bit of bad news I had a valve break an exhaust valve so this engine didn't have a whole lot of miles on it just because, I mean, the valves are not, there's nothing built, built up on these valves uh, whatsoever. I'm just going to try and reuse my old valves. Well, I'm going to. I've got to buy another one, though. But this is my setup to buff them, clean them up. So I just got my porter cable drill in here. And let's see how it goes.
so they turned out really well. Um, as you guys can see, they're all they all got cleaned up pretty good. Maybe need to hit a few of them here and there, but besides that, everything really came off. Um, check all these out. Make sure there's no cracks. And then I'm gonna order an exhaust valve, and then uh, that sets that for the valves. Um, I've been doing a little head porting. Um, kind of how I went ahead and cleaned the, the deck of the head. Here is kind of the board. As you can see, it looks like crap. Just to see. Let's do this. Okay. But you guys can pretty well get a picture of it. I mean, I'm kind of doing a little here and there, nothing much. This is the one that I haven't done a whole lot to yet. Um, you can still see a little bit of rust inside the valve seats, um, but we'll get those out. They come out pretty well easily. So, from that to that, you can obviously tell the nice brightness of it. Cleanliness, the cleanness. Exhaust, I haven't really touched up on the exhaust yet. I may order a set to uh, port and polish. I ain't trying to go all big and bad with it. Just really trying to smooth out the surfaces. So, that is my next move on this. You can see the valve seats are nice and clean. Very cleaned up, very well, very well. So, I'm actually, I'm going to grab an intake.